The top left photo shows a Chinook helicopter taking off after its mission and three Army soldiers preparing to display a flag after a victory. The Chinook gets its name from a Native American tribe that lived in Washington State. The aircraft's main purpose is heavy lifting. Underneath the picture of the Chinook is a Fairchild A-10 Thunderbolt II fighter plane. It was nicknamed the Warthog. The plane has what's called a chain gun on its nose. It's extremely effective at attacking armored vehicles and tanks from long distances. A UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter is the photo on the bottom right. Its name comes from a Midwestern Indian tribe. In addition to transporting troops for combat, the UH-60 also flew medevac missions. In the center is Staff Sergeant Clinton Romesha. In 2009, President Obama presented him with the Congressional Medal of Honor. While injured, he took out a machine gun team and while under fire, pushed some 100 yards to recover the bodies of fallen comrades. The upper right photo is an M777 howitzer. It's a type of gun that fires giant bullets high into the air at a low speed. This weapon allows soldiers to clear a way for advancing troops and to fight off the approaching enemy. The rocks you see in the air are propelled from the backblast that occurs after the firing. The middle right photo is a group of F-15E jets. They are designed for long-range, high-speed interdiction, which means to stop something from happening. During Iraqi freedom, they flew hunter-killer missions over western Iraq looking for mobile scud launchers. Finally, on the bottom right, you'll see U.S. troops training to use a shoulder-fired, portable, guided missile launcher called a javelin. It's also referred to as a fire-and-forget weapon, meaning it locks onto its target and self-guides in mid-flight. Most of the time, this type of weapon is used to destroy armored tanks.